Hi, I'm Jonay DeBrule at Stone Coop Farm, and today we're going to show you how to plant kale. <laughs> One of our shortcuts when we plant out in the fields, as you can probably hear the noise of the drip irrigation that they're pulling out, you can see Beth and Media pulling the drip tape, and then you can see over in the field where we've already laid some of the drip tape and you can see where the holes on the drip are dripping into the ground and so our shortcut is we started early what we do is we'll take the plants apart and then you can see where the water has been dripping and we plant the, the plant directly in where the water so then the plant gets happy and it always has the water when it needs it So one of the reasons that we really like to use drip irrigation is it uses less water. It doesn't water the plants overhead, which also prevents diseases from getting onto the plants. And you can see on the drip, that little teeny slit there slowly drip puts water into the soil. This has probably been running for maybe an hour and it's already wet. I can't even reach how far down it's still wet. This is what you want. It makes it easy to plant into the soil. So we're planting two different types of kale this summer. We've got the green curly kale. It's actually a variety we're using called meadowlark. And then we love this purple heirloom variety called curly roja. And these plants will be in the field until November. They can actually freeze. So this will be the only thing in this field. Um, they get a little bit stressed out when it's hot like today, but uh, for the most part, we will have kale all summer long into the fall from these fields. And the plants will probably get about anywhere from two to three feet tall. So we'll have to show you how to harvest field kale um, this summer. Thanks! 